that you are not running for president. You are running for president through us. Aisha Yusuf, a very popular obedient, has today disagreed with the Labour Party presidential candidate, Pito B, over governorship candidates in various states, especially in Enugu State. You might think that this is a very huge disagreement or that, oh, oh, that Labour Party is about to break into pieces. No, don't go that far because this is a report we are getting from one of the national dailies in Nigeria. But we're going to interpret it properly for you so that you don't lose your sleep over this kind of headline that Aisha Yusuf is now disagreeing with Pitobi. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel. We want more subscribers so that we bring you hourly updates on what is happening in Nigeria and beyond. So I say Yusufu, a diehard supporter of P2B, an obedient to the core, has disagreed with um, the obedience movement actually over who becomes the next governor of Enugu State. Remember that today, P2B appeared in the Court of Appeal in Abuja and he has been tweeting and we have been making videos on whatever he did today. In one of his tweets, he asked Labour Party supporters, the obedient, to vote all gubernatorial candidates of Labour Party in various states of the Federation. But he added a lacuna. He said, like, vote for competence, vote for ability, Vote for, you know, all those um, uh, very excellent characters that he is always espousing, you know. Someone with character, someone that is um, very, very trustworthy and the rest of it. So he gave some kind of message because he's saying vote for all Labour candidates. Why then did he say but go for competence, go for ability, go for, you know, is he now saying if the Labour Party governorship candidate is not capable, if he's not uh, of an excellent quality, that you should abandon him and vote for someone else. That is the gap in the message. I can read to you exactly what he wrote. He said, as we pursue the process and defer to the rule of law, I urge all the obedience in the various states to continue campaigning for our candidates. That is P2B tweeting. Namely, Badebo Roads Vivo in Lagos, Chijioke Edoga in Enugu, Patrick Dakum in Plateau, Alex Oti in Abia, Ken Pella in Delta, Ibrahim Nshelia in Borunu, to name just a few. And this one didn't go down very well with Aisha Yesufu. She has her own opinion, and I'm going to let you know what is said in a minute. Obi also called on supporters to vote for candidates with competence, character, capacity, and compassion. Compassion is a new word that is now turning up in Peter Obi's vocabulary. And I don't know why he's starting to use this word. Is he now saying that all the other people that we are dealing with in this country are callous? They don't care about the people. They don't give a hit. They are just self-centered and focused in what they will get for themselves, for their families and their friends. You can interpret this message, but... When you see the way this election has been rigged, then you will say that compassion is not part of those who did this rigging. Now, let's continue. But um, Aisha Yusuf now said, okay, but the fact is she believes specifically that Frank Nweke Jr. of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, Abga, Abga, gubernatorial candidate in Enugu State, 
is the most qualified candidate to lead Enugu. So this is what she wrote. God forbid I become what I want to change. I can never sacrifice competence for partisanship. Aisha tweeted. She said, Frank Mweke Jr. is the person for Enugu State. The people must be the winners and not individuals. Right. So, Obi is saying votes for Edoga. Aisha is saying Tofiakwa. I think that Frank Mweke Jr. is the man to be voted for. Don't mind my language. Sometimes I speak with passion the way these political uh, players and juggernauts uh, act. So, is there anything wrong in this? I don't think there's much wrong. Let me tell you about Frank Mweke Jr. He was a former junior minister in the administration of um, Good Luck, Ebele Jonathan, I believe. And he played a very smart game because he's the governorship candidate for APGA. And APGA has got only one governor in Nigeria as of today, and that is Chuko Masoludo, professor in Anambra State. And you know that Chukwu Masoludo does not support Obi's presidency. And about two weeks ago, Frank Mweke, that should be looking for the support of Soludo, came in the open and said, I do not care what anybody thinks. I do not give a hoot what anybody says. I, Frank Mweke, even though I'm Afghan gubernatorial candidate in Enugu State, me and my family are fully obedient. Wow, what a political move. Very sharp, clever. So he's Afghan, but he kind of created a demarcation to say, I am not with Soludo. He is the governor of Anambra State. He is the leader of Abga. He is the only governor. If he has problem with Obi, I do not have the same problem. I am obedient. And this is like buying into the obedient movement. So he sowed the seed. Could it be that this seed germinated in Boronu State and Aisha Yusuf is now rooting for him? That could be one thing that is playing in here. But I tell you what, Aisha is far from the Southeast. P2B is the politician on ground. He knows much more than Aisha Yusuf. Probably she, he has to educate Aisha Yusuf on what is playing out in Enugu State. But be that as it may, it's not like a disagreement. That is why obedient is obedient. Aisha, you can never stop her from saying her mind. And the next time you see Peter, Aisha will be there and they will smile. And if you ask them about this, they will answer it to your satisfaction. So, nothing amiss, just difference of opinion. Like this video, share it, subscribe to our channel, and then we'll bring you more updates. Thank you and when blessed.